Welcome back to another Lost Island resource location guide from the Ark Survival Guide. Today we're going to show you the best places to get oil on the Lost Island map, and we're going to show you some amazing spots to get thousands of oil really safely and easily. This guide will give you map and GPS coordinates for all of these options to get tons of oil really close to wherever you live on this massive new Lost Island map. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! Now this first oil location is absolutely amazing for getting oil. You can come out of here with thousands of oil on a 1x server, and it's relatively safe compared to a lot of other options. So we're here just to the southeast of the red obelisk, and if you follow the lava all the way down to where it hits the ocean, we're just a little bit south of there, and there's this big mud flat covered in oil. It's like a giant oil pit. And you can see all the oil just bubbling around over here. Now if we look on these little islands in the middle, you're going to find these rocks, and they're kind of shiny with a weird tint, almost like metal, but they're actually oil, and if you hit those, you get a bunch of oil. There's some on either shore, and they're just kind of scattered all around here. And this is one of the absolute safest places to get oil. It's mostly things like raptors that spawn around here, nothing too deadly, and there's actually a lot of obsidian over here too. Now if you bring like an ankylosaurus, or uh, especially a mining drill, you can get a ridiculous amount of oil from these rocks. And uh, this is just from one rock, 130 on one X setting with a mining drill. So it is crazy, crazy amounts of oil that you can get from here. And if that's not enough oil for you, if you look around, there's these uh, rocks that kind of have these glowing tips to them. And along the bottoms, you'll see these little pillars, and some of the pillars are actually harvestable, and that'll get you even more oil. Some of them are just decoration, though, so, uh, you know, you might have to try hitting a bunch of different ones, but try it out. You'll eventually get a good bit of oil from these little spires, too, and you should be able to walk out of this spot with thousands of oil. Another great place to get oil is in the ocean, but extremely shallow, like shallow enough you can swim up and grab it by hand, and that's right here at the mouth of this bay. So we are just to the uh, west of the blue obelisk, and if you look at the middle of this bay towards where it narrows out into a river, there is this big section, kind of a sandbar with a bunch of rocks. And right along this, after it drops off a little bit, is actually a pretty decent amount of oil. And this is so close to the surface, you can just swim down and grab the entire oil node in one breath. And there's a little bit more over here towards the open ocean. So if you park a raft up in this section, which is really shallow and safe from whales, you can just swim down and get all the oil you need and keep grabbing it when it respawns. Now if you want a constant, unlimited supply of oil that keeps replenishing itself, you can find an oil vein, and there's lots of them in the desert. If you set up an oil pump on top of them, that will just keep producing oil for you for the rest of the game. So we are over here in the desert, and uh, we're kind of on the northern side near the coast here. And if we follow along where the sand meets the mountains, there's actually quite a few of these oil veins scattered throughout the area. And I've got a couple oil pumps set up so you can see where they are. And if we just follow the sands, we're gonna find another one up here. And there's the location of this one. And then there's some other ones scattered on the other side of the desert. Here's one right here. And I've placed a couple of oil pumps already so you can see pretty clearly where they are. But basically all the way around this water source, you're going to find quite a few oil veins that you can set up oil pumps on. Basically the entire desert biome has got tons of jug bugs that spawn all over the place. And uh, you're going to find blue ones that are water jug bugs and pink ones that are oil jug bugs. And when the back fills up, it'll be kind of round. You can actually walk up and just gather oil from them and get a decent amount that way. Now this is a much more dangerous oil location, but there is a lot of oil up here on this peak. So we're actually just to the west side of the red obelisk, and we are at the highest peak of the snow area closest to the volcano. And if we look just below it on the northern side, you're going to see a bunch of rocks kind of piled up, and some of them have a slightly more gray color to them. You're also going to find a lot of dangerous stuff, so be ready for a fight if you come over here. But a lot of these, if you uh, actually go up to them and hit them, they're actually oil. 
which uh, doesn't look like it. Some of these are actually obsidian too, if you look at all the rocks around this slope. They're covered in snow, so it makes it really hard to see what's going on. But uh, if you come over here with an ankylosaurus or a mining drill or something like that, you can get a ton of oil from these rocks and uh, hopefully not get killed in the process. Now my absolute favorite way to get oil is to tame a dung beetle, and you're gonna find tons of these on these little islands over here on the southeast side of the plains. And there's kind of a little bit redwood foresty area and then some tropical little islands, and all of these are gonna have tons of dung beetles spawning on them. They're relatively dangerous, but you can easily pick up the dung beetle and carry it to one of these other islands that has nothing dangerous on it, and you can tame it that way. And once you've got it tamed, you just passively feed feed it feces, and it will constantly convert feces into oil and fertilizer for the rest of your game, right from the comfort of your own home. Now, if you want a little bit of oil without leaving the safe areas, you can get some decent oil from killing tech parasaurs, raptors, stegos, or rexes, and those will spawn anywhere those dinos spawn. It's just about a 1 in 20 chance they'll be a tech dino. So that is a decent option to get a little bit of oil here and there to tie you over until you establish a better oil supply. Now one of the less well-known ways to get oil is from a Bacillosaurus. If you tame one, it will passively produce oil in its inventory as long as you've got it out in water. And there's actually a ton of them all along this bay here. And uh, basically the entire way from this section all the way up to this area of the ocean, all of this coral reef has a decent chance to spawn Bacillosaurus. And most of it's really shallow, which makes it really easy to tame them compared to most Bacillosaurus tames. So that's a decent an option if you've got water available at your base. So hopefully one of those locations will help you get all of the oil you need no matter where you live on this massive new Lost Island map. Let me know in the comments if there's other locations where you like to get oil on the Lost Island map and please give this video a thumbs up if it helps you get all the oil you need. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications because we've got lots more Lost Island resource guides coming out really soon that are going to make your Lost Island adventures so much easier and you won't want to miss out on them. So we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around because that helps us so much. And drop a comment, we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video, which will come out very soon. And while you wait, we have tons of other videos you can watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.